Hi guys, welcome to another GTV. I'm sorry to say that this is episode 400 and we really can't do anything special. It's just going to be a standard episode. Maybe let's wait till 450 or 500 to really give you what you deserve. So sorry about this, but it's just due to COVID and what's going on right now. Anyway, it's Dave from HOJ.com and let me just tell you about a new site we have launched. If you want to check out all the kits from the newest episodes, head to HLJ.com slash TV. That's a new little page we've set up on our website, which allows you to see what has come out and and also some very popular kits that we have. Be sure to check that out if you want easy way to know what's new and what's relevant. Also guys, right now there is a spring shipping sale on. So if you're watching this relatively close to the upload of this video, then you can save big when you promise to ship and it will end March 25th, 11 a.m. Japanese time. So there's plenty of goods that you can get really amazing deals on, sci-fi and action figures, anime figures and goods, and scale models. So make sure you check that out. The link is at the top of hoj.com right now. And yeah, so you've got about a week from this video to make your purchase and ship that bad boy out. Okay, let's jump right into it. So everything this week is from Bandai. We have got quite a number of kits. I'm pretty excited to be honest. First up, we have the Figure Rise Standard Amplified, the Machine Dramon or Mugen Dramon in Japanese. Now, we are used to these type of kits. They are detailed, they are bulky, they are big, and it's 27 centimeters once assembled. So the neck and tail adopt a bellow structure using lead wires. And also, as we've seen a lot of gimmicks before in this series, we have one with the chest, so it can open and close and has the image of the Giga Destroyer. Stickers are also included, and it's still not gone order stop or discontinued, so jump on that as soon as possible. Just to mention, please subscribe, because some of these products will just disappear after episodes, so just make sure you're first to see them. Next up, Bandai brings out another Pokemon plastic model collection kit. This one is just known as Big Zero One Magikarp, and I have never seen like a simple kit like this as big as it is. It's 20 centimeters. It's type of like one of those EG kits where you really don't need to bother with nippers. You don't need to bother with glue or paint or anything like that. It's only got 30 parts. It's type of model for kids or people who want to get into building kit. That looks quite impressive to me. I love that you can actually move the tail so it has articulation and just being so big and, and having the display base that's clear just looks awesome. That's actually the first time we've seen a clear display base for the Pokemon series. Moving on, we have a very well-known friend, Harrow. So this is the Harrow Pla SD Sangoku Sojuden Harrow. And it's got a cool dragon mark on the front. It's got that red clear plastic sword. And yeah, it's themed off this Sangokushi line that we've seen being really pressed hard by Bandai. Amazing price point of just over 500 yen, five bucks. Uh, very interested in this. This is gonna be a cool addition to your collection, especially with what seems like to be clear plastic for the arm inserts. Okay, going off Sangokushi just for a second, I'll come back to it. I just wanted to show this off because I thought it was very impressive. Customized scene base, one 144th scale, city area version. Right now it does say order stop, but I've got a feeling that this will come back into stock at some point. It is amazing for your 30 minute mission kits and looks really impressive. Something that would be impressive if you wanted to even customize it for a diorama. And for that price point of 850 yen on hoj.com, that is pretty impressive. So following on with 30 minute missions, we've got some optional part sets. This is set three, one 144th scale, of course. So you've got the large lance, the large drill, the large sword, the large shield, and just how the armor fits onto a 30 minute missions kit looks really impressive. Okay, back to Sangokushi. We have the Soketsuden map. Chao or Cho, however you want to say it, Gundam Barbatos. Gold design. Do I I don't think I really need to go into too much information about these kits. We've been seeing them coming out for weeks now. It looks like we have some lovely golden clear parts. And also he is compatible with other products that we've seen from this series, such as that bike you see in the last picture, the green one. Okay, next I'm just gonna reel these off very quickly because it's just the same type of stuff. But uh the SD Sangoku Soketsuden Sun Kwan Gundam Astray, more gold parts, more red, looks very beautiful, and those katana swords look awesome. Then up we have Soketsuden Hyang Zong Gundam Dynams. This time it's a gold and green theme. We've got a rifle, some awesome flaming hair. 
That's quite cool. And Sotsuketsuden Zhanghei Ultra Gundam. I'm pretty sure it's not Zhanghei. Correct me if I'm wrong. This one actually still has gold, but this time it's got some purple clear parts and a nice dark green grassy colour. And finally up, we have the Soketsuden Zihiao Dan Togis Mark III. Bit of a different colour scheme here. Some silver, some clear purple parts and gold also. And a nice clear purple and black plastic rifle. Looks nice. These all look really cool. It's just that I've got to reel them off very quickly because there's been so many of them recently. I'm sure you're keyed into what this series is about. And with that, we are finished. So yeah, remember about the sale. You can save big when you promise to ship. It ends March 25th at 11 a.m. Japanese time. Ship it out. Get good deals. Let's go. When products go up on our website, and it's very important that you make that pre-order as soon as possible because some items go order stop, you know, almost immediately after the video goes up. So thanks a lot. Smash a like and see you again next time.